What's up people, today I'm gonna review Jessica Cobasi's preset packs. So you can find her preset packs on her website at jessicacobasi.com Then you go to the actions and presets and here you can see a lot of different ones that she has. I went for the Amelia pack, it has 8 different uh, presets and they're to be honest reasonably priced at $20 because uh, I saw some people selling preset packs for like $70 which in my opinion is a bit overpriced $20 is, is reasonable or $12 for 3 I guess it's a reasonable price so be sure to check her work at Jessica Cobasi on Instagram and while you're at Instagram why don't you also follow my page at Jonah Raw alright now that we have this plug out of the way we can hop into the review So we're in Lightroom and we're gonna try out this preset pack on this picture I took today. I really like this picture because of the two mirrors here, a reflecting girl and this light here. I took it in a fitting room and I also like the, the angle. I was in another fitting room standing on some things looking over the, the divider between the two fitting rooms. So maybe a quick tip, this picture is selected and here you can see a preview of the picture. If you hover over presets, you can see a preview of what they will look like on your picture. So I can already see like this one might be cool for it. This will this one will look overexposed, but you can fix it, you know. But you can you can get a, a preview here, which is pretty pretty cool. Alright, so now let's try them out. I'll try out the first one, Amelia Bold. So alright, this is cool. It's pretty it has like a contrasty look, um, kind of desaturated, uh, but at the same time, like the orange and the black really pops, so it's cool. What I noticed on our presets is the following: if you want to adjust uh, things in the presets, you might have to do it in the tone curve because this is where she actually does most of her editing. As you can see, if you turn it off, the, pic the picture is very flat because she she works with almost no uh, extra contrast, no clarity, vibrance and saturation is also at zero or even uh, desaturated or, or less vibrance. Same with whites and blacks, the whites are pulled down, the blacks are pulled up. So if you would do this, for example, you can see immediately you have a lot more contrast uh, in the picture. But now, let's put our preset again, put the tone curve on. All right, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool preset. It's a little bit overexposed for this one, but it's quite easily adjustable. Although, as I said, you might wanna do your adjusting in the tone curve, because as you can see, that's where she does a lot of the editing. Alright, let's check the next one, Amelia Bolt X. So this one is a bit more vintage, kind of greenish vibe I would say, or grey. Um, it's also pretty dope. And again, I mean, I might be wrong, but yeah, as you can see again it's really flat. Uh, here she even here she even has the contrast down uh, with 44 so it's really flat image and the editing is like bam the tone curve <laughs> makes all the editing here so let's check the third one this one is a more pinkish pinkish purplish uh, yeah, also a vintage vibe I would say uh, and a really really more faded as you can see here in the tone curve like it's pulled up all the way, if you pull it down like a little bit, the, the fade goes away immediately. So if you're not a fan of that, just pull it down here. Or if you're a fan, you can like do it even more or whatever you like. Alright, so yeah, that was this one. Now Amelia 2. Okay, this one is for this picture overexposed, so I'm gonna put the exposure down a bit maybe even a bit more and the highlights all right it's also a bit more a faded one as you can see here 
I kind of like it. Uh, although I have to say, lately I've been kind of going for the more neutral look, not for like the really faded one anymore. Because I mean. You know, sometimes you have these trends in photography and the fade look was like a very big trend. But I think we're kind of over it. And as for myself as well, I'm kind of maybe bored of seeing this look. But it's very easy adjustable. As you can see, just pull the tone curve down here. On, it's uh, the area here, the left area, which are the shadows. So you pull it down and the fade goes away. Again, Probably, yeah, the contrast is almost nothing, vibrance is down a bit, so editing is done in the tone curve. Now, let's check Amelia Quaint. Alright, I'm kind of digging this one, this is a bit more of a moody, darker one, which is a bit my style. Um, again, yeah, probably, yeah, again, it's the tone curve really making the picture. So keep that in mind if you want to adjust things that it might not be enough to change some settings here but you might want to look into the tone curve because it's like adjusted on each channel. Um, yeah, digging this one. So Amelia X. Now this one is a bit more light, uh, wouldn't say orangey but a bit more to the orangey side. Uh, it's a cool one also, so again, a bit overexposed for this one. But as I said in my other tutorial, it's very easy to make a preset work for your picture and most of it can be done here. So yeah, cool, cool. And now we're here at the last one, Amelia XO, which is, I would say, maybe the most neutral edit. Um, which I'm really digging, it has like this soft vibe to it, although it's, it's contrasty. Um, again, tone curve doing all the work here. Yeah, as I would say, it's a very dope uh, preset pack. Maybe I'll quickly uh, check it on another picture, because I like to see it on a, on a, on a portrait. Because uh, when I did my review of Peter McKinnon's preset pack, I already mentioned that it, it's a very cool preset pack, but it's a bit, it's a bit hard and it's a bit strong, uh, so you have to be into it. And I wouldn't also maybe recommend it if you're really shooting portraits, because since it's such a strong edit, it kind of messes more with the skin tones. And Peter's style is, uh, he's more like a landscape photographer or environmental portrait photographer I would say and then it it's, it matters less because your subject is, f is farther away so it's all uh, less noticeable but if you have like a close-up like a portrait of somebody uh, I wouldn't per se recommend that pack so let's check Jessica's here <clears throat> quickly so as you can see this one does like a really nice job uh, keeping the skin tones cool so bam the first one Second one, I'm really gonna quickly go over them. So as you can see, yeah, this was the more faded one, but it's a cool one, it's a cool one. They're a bit overexposed on this picture, but because it was a very light and bright picture. But as I said, the first thing that I do, if I apply a preset and I don't like it, is checking the exposure or the temperature. Because at the, the person who made the preset pack made it for their pictures and they might shoot uh, more dark style of photos or like very bright so you have to adjust it for your picture and it's very easy you know it's very fast yeah the queen one might be one of my favorites because in a way it's like a, a subtle preset but it's still a, it's a very nice one so the X again overexposed for the BAM easily fixed so yeah this preset pack is a pack that you can use if you're into portraits because as you can see it kept the skin tones nice it's uh, it's not weird looking it's not too strong for portraits so here you go this was my review of this preset pack be sure to subscribe for more tutorials about photography reviews of 
of presets um, showing you my own presets and other stuff that will be going on in my life regarding photography all right see you